Picture this. You're sitting in your room, scrolling through your social media feed, and you come across pictures of your relatives, friends, or just a random person boasting about their recent luxurious vacation or their newest Louis Vuitton bag that costs more than your annual salary. You can't help but wonder if you'll ever be able to afford something like that. Unfortunately, the odds may be stacked against you due to the changing economic landscape. Welcome to the harsh reality of modern economics, where a comfortable life may seem like just a distant dream. If you're feeling worried that you may never be able to achieve the same level of wealth as your parents, cousins, or friends, well, you're not alone. In recent years, a growing number of people have expressed concern about the widening income gap and the increasing difficulty for upward mobility. 90% of the wealth is right here in the top. Now, the upper middle class and the middle class they share one piece. So these guys, they've got about 80% of a piece, they get 20% of a piece, and then the lower middle class, they've got 0.3% of a piece. Yeah, they have some crumbs there. There you go, that's what they get. And the poorest, they have no pie. In fact, they have less than, than, than no pie. They, have, they actually have a bill for pie. They're in <laughs> pie debt, they owe pie. With the added impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, this topic is no longer just a subject for economists, but has become an increasingly pressing issue for individuals just like you and me, young generations born between 1990 and 2005 who are navigating an ever-challenging economic landscape. So according to that survey by Bankrate, nearly one in three Gen Z workers are not actively saving for retirement. And they're not the only ones. According to the survey, millennials who are saving say they feel like they are behind. Another level, and it's having an impact on how confident people are feeling about their finances. The amount of student loan debt Americans hold is at a record high, and much of it is shouldered by millennials, people now in their late 20s and 30s which means that young people coming along behind them in what's called Generation Z, those born after 1996, are facing some tough choices about how to pay for college. You are now watching the White Obsidian Channel. The global economy has undergone a significant transformation over the past few decades, especially after the 2008 financial crisis, which affected job opportunities and income potential for individuals and families worldwide. This has led to a growing divide between the rich and poor, with many people struggling to make ends meet. You can check out our video on the top right or the link down below if you want to know the full story of the world-shocking financial crisis that occurred in 2008. In the past, the American dream often included a comfortable life with a nuclear family, where a typical man would have a 9-to-5 job that could support his wife, two children, a pet dog, a car, and a house. The idea of the American dream was that, with hard work, one could achieve a comfortable life and a bright future. However, in today's generation, both partners need to work even harder just to make ends meet. It's no longer enough to rely on just one job to provide for a family, due to the skyrocketing cost of living. Many jobs simply don't pay enough to support oneself, let alone a family. The American dream has become more of a challenge to achieve for many, and the gap between the rich and poor continues to widen. As a result, many young people have turned to side hustles, multiple jobs just to make ends meet. Working a 9-to-5 job is no longer enough to ensure financial stability, but rather just to avoid sleeping on the streets. It's not uncommon for people to work on their side hustles after work and on the weekends, which leaves very little time for rest and or relaxation. The idea of the American dream has shifted for this generation. Instead of a comfortable life with a nuclear family, the dream has become to simply be financially stable and not live paycheck to paycheck. This is a stark contrast to the past and highlights the challenges faced by young people in today's economic landscape. With that being said, the cost of living has increased dramatically over the past few decades, 
while salaries have failed to keep pace with these rising costs. A study by the Pew Research Center found that the cost of living has increased by 67% since 1990, while the median hourly wage has only increased 18% during that same period. Additionally, the cost of housing has skyrocketed in many areas, making it difficult for young people to afford their own homes. A study by Harvard's Joint Center for Housing Studies found that in 2021, the first full year of the COVID-19 pandemic, 47% of renters in the U.S. were cost-burdened, meaning they spent more than 30% of their income on rent. The study's findings highlight the alarming reality that almost half of U.S. renters are living on the brink of financial disaster unable to withstand any unforeseen circumstances due to living paycheck to paycheck. The belief that a college education is the key to financial success has been a deeply ingrained idea in modern society for decades. Unfortunately, many young people in today's world are discovering that the reality is far from the truth. Not only in the United States, but all over the world, young people are facing an uncertain future despite obtaining higher education. The cost of education continues to skyrocket and students are graduating with staggering amounts of debt that they will have to carry for years to come and probably won't be able to pay off across their lifetime. And we're starting with the price of college, a cost that's supposed to be an investment. By 2020, an estimated 65% of jobs are expected to require at least some college training, but that training has never been more expensive, with the average cost of attending a public college up tenfold since 1965. As someone who holds a master's degree in chemical engineering, I know firsthand that the situation is made even more complicated by the fact that having a college degree is no longer a guarantee of financial success. Even with higher education, the job market is extremely competitive and graduates are finding it difficult to land well-paying jobs that match their education level, falling deeper into financial depression and doubt while people who don't have a degree were able to land a job with similar salary ranges. Many of today's wealthiest individuals, including Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Steve Jobs, all dropped out of college and went on to achieve great success. This challenges the myth that a degree is a surefire path to success, and young people are beginning to question whether or not obtaining a degree is worth the financial burden. According to a report by the College Board, the average cost of tuition fees as of 2022 was $10,560 for in-state public colleges and $37,650 for private colleges, resulting in the average borrower owing over $37,000 right off the bat, even before landing a job. Despite a staggering total student debt loan of $1.76 trillion in the United States, society still places an expectation on individuals to obtain higher education in order to compete in the competitive corporate world and attain a more desirable lifestyle. This reality has left many young people feeling disillusioned and hopeless, wondering if all of their hard work and financial sacrifice was for nothing. The pressure to succeed in today's world can be incredibly daunting, especially when the promise of financial stability is no longer guaranteed when compared to how our parents were decades ago. Despite this bleak outlook, it is important to note that education can still provide valuable skills and knowledge that can be applied to many different areas of life. However, it is crucial to recognize that a degree alone is not a guarantee of financial success any longer. Do you ever find yourself scrolling through Instagram, seeing your friends, many influencers, or even your cousins living a life of luxury while you feel like you're stuck in square one no matter how hard you try? It's a common experience for many young people these days. We see a lucky few people posting pictures and videos of their lavish homes, expensive cars, and extravagant vacations, all thanks to that business they created, or maybe that Dogecoin they bought back in 2018, while we still struggle to make ends meet. And then there are those who comment on our situation, 
telling us that we just don't work hard enough, that we're not hustling enough, that we're not ambitious enough. They send us links and emails about courses that promise to teach us how to get rich, only to find out that the course costs close to $1,000. This is just another unguaranteed product that these so-called gurus are trying to sell. It's frustrating to say the least. It can make us feel like we're not good enough, like we're not doing enough, even though we're trying our best. And when we see others who seem to have it all, it can be easy to fall into a downward spiral of envy and depression. Unfortunately, some people's desperation to make more money can lead them to fall into financial traps that can be detrimental to their financial well-being. These traps may include making risky investments, overspending on unnecessary luxuries, or taking on too much debt without a plan to pay it off. Engaging in these activities can result in a situation known as financial suicide, where a person's financial situation becomes so dire that it may be difficult or flat out impossible to recover. But here's the thing, the world's economy is not set up to make everyone rich. Some people will rise to the top, while most will be stuck at the bottom. And while hard work and ambition can certainly help, there are other factors at play, like generational wealth, systemic inequality, and the rising cost of living, as well as the opportunities that are given to you. Generational wealth refers to the wealth and assets that are passed down from one generation to the next. For many families, the accumulation of wealth is a process that takes years, if not decades, to achieve. However, even if you work hard and save diligently, it is possible that you may never be wealthier than your parents simply due to the changing economic landscape. One major factor that affects generational wealth is inheritance. When your parents pass away, they may leave you assets such as property, investments, or cash. However, this inheritance is not guaranteed, and in some cases, it may be limited due to the increased life expectancy or other factors. Additionally, inheritance may be subject to taxes, which can absolutely reduce the overall amount that you receive, unless you're from the British royal family. The current economic landscape poses a significant challenge for young people trying to build wealth. The combination of a changing job market, rising education costs, limited access to generational wealth, and the increasing debt and cost of living makes it an uphill battle. This challenge is not unique to the United States, but a global issue affecting young people worldwide and it will only get worse in the decades to come. Though investing in education and career training can help, it's important to acknowledge that the economy is not designed to ensure everyone can become wealthy. The system is set up to create winners and losers, leaving most people at a disadvantage and potentially leading to feelings of depression and hopelessness. The current economic landscape presents a daunting challenge for many young people, leaving them feeling disillusioned about their future prospects. The cycle of increasing debt, rising costs of living, and limited access to generational wealth can feel like a never-ending spiral of financial struggle. It's no wonder that many young people are left wondering if their efforts to build a better future are ultimately futile, resulting in making poor financial decisions that exacerbate the situation and lead to financial suicide.